hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is the condition that occurs due to excessive production of thyroid hormones by the thyroid gland. Let's first review the normal physiology of thyroid hormones. Major control of the synthesis and secretion of thyroid hormones is via the hypothalamic pituitary axis. Thyrotropin releasing hormone is secreted by the hypothalamus and acts on the thyrotrophs of the anterior pituitary to cause secretion of thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone then acts on the thyroid gland to stimulate the synthesis and secretion of thyroid hormones. The thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland that straddles the trachea in the front of the neck. The two lobes of the human thyroid are connected by a bridge of tissue, the thyroid isthmus. The portion of the thyroid concerned with the production of thyroid hormone consists of follicles. Each spherical follicle is surrounded by follicular cells and filled with pink staining proteinaceous material called colloid. Colloid consists predominantly of the glycoprotein, thyroglobulin. Thyroid follicular epithelial cells convert thyroglobulin into T4 and lesser amounts of T3. T4 and T3 are released into the systemic circulation, where most of these peptides are bound to circulating plasma proteins, such as T4 binding globulin, for transport to peripheral tissues. The binding proteins maintain the serum unbound T3 and T4 concentrations within narrow limits while ensuring that the hormones are readily available to the tissues. In the periphery, the majority of free T4 is deiodinated to T3. T3 binds to thyroid hormone nuclear receptors in target cells with tenfold greater affinity than T4 and has proportionately greater activity. Thyroid hormones act on virtually every organ system in the human body. Thyroid hormones increase basal metabolic rate, heat production, and oxygen consumption, and they alter the cardiovascular and respiratory systems to increase blood flow and oxygen delivery to the tissues. Hyperthyroidism can happen a few different ways. Graves' disease, the most common form of hyperthyroidism, is an autoimmune disease in which antibodies called thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulins form against the TSH receptor in the thyroid gland. These antibodies bind with the same membrane receptors that bind TSH and stimulate the thyroid gland to release thyroid hormone with resultant development of hyperthyroidism. The high level of thyroid hormone secretion caused by TSI in turn suppresses anterior pituitary formation of TSH. Therefore, TSH concentrations are less than normal rather than enhanced in almost all patients with Graves' disease. Graves' disease can have some additional clinical features that distinguish it from other causes of hyperthyroidism, and Graves' ophthalmopathy is one of them. In Graves' ophthalmopathy, a volume of the retroorbital connective tissues and extraocular muscles is increased due to marked infiltration of the retroorbital space by mononuclear cells, predominantly T cells, inflammatory edema and swelling of extraocular muscles, accumulation of extracellular matrix components, and increased numbers of adipocytes. These changes displace the eyeball forward, potentially interfering with the function of the extraocular muscles. Another cause of hyperthyroidism is thyroid adenoma. Hyperthyroidism occasionally results from a localized adenoma that develops in the thyroid tissue and secretes large quantities of thyroid hormone. This is different from the more usual type of hyperthyroidism in that it is usually not associated with evidence of any autoimmune disease. An interesting effect of the adenoma is that as long as it continues to secrete large quantities of thyroid hormone, secretory function in the remainder of the thyroid gland is almost totally inhibited because the thyroid hormone from the adenoma depresses the production of TSH by the pituitary gland. A different cause is a pituitary tumor that secretes TSH, which leads thyroid to generate a lot of thyroid hormones. Symptoms of hypothyroidism the symptoms of hyperthyroidism include a high state of excitability, 
intolerance to heat, increased sweating, mild to extreme weight loss, varying degrees of diarrhea, muscle weakness, nervousness, and other psychic disorders, extreme fatigue but inability to sleep, and tremor of the hands. So, how can we treat hypothyroidism? Beta blockers can be used for symptomatic relief of tachycardia. Beta blockers are typically used in cases where the hypothyroidism will resolve spontaneously. In cases of thyroid hormone hypersecretion, the treatment goal is to reduce the amount of circulating thyroid hormone. So, antithyroid drugs are used to decrease thyroid hormone synthesis. In most cases, more definitive treatment is preferable to long-term treatment with antithyroid drugs. The thyroid can be removed surgically or destroyed by radioactive iodine. Either of these treatments can lead to hypothyroidism. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.